Funding for Dry Dock is provided by Patreon supporters. Click the links on in the description box below this video to become a Patreon supporter. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more. Originally built as an Argentine gunboat in 1874, the ship was soon the ship was soon to be used as a training ship for the Argentine Navy. Then the ship became a floating headquarters for naval training. In 1879, the gunboat anchored in Buenos Aires, Argentina, witnessed the graduation of the Academy's first class of naval officers. And in 1878, ARA Uruguay became part of the expedition of Commander Luis Pai to Patagonia, south of the Santa Cruz River, along with the monitor Los Andres and the gunboat Constitution, with the goal of asserting Argentine's sovereignty claim on that region, which was threatened by Chile. Nothing important happened until 1884 when the ARA Uruguay transported foreign scientific committees who came to observe a transit of Venus. Three years later, in 1887, ARA Uruguay was removed from its training assignment and fitted with expedition support. In 1903, ARA Uruguay was extensively refitted specifically as a steam rescue ship with auxiliary sail propulsion. The original engine was replaced with a more compact yet more powerful engine and boilers salvaged from a wreck, allowing addition of more water storage, cold bunkering, and fuel oil for heating. Additional bulkheads were created, additional bulkheads to create a total of eight compartments and hull reinforcements were added. The bilge kills were removed to facilitate damage-free passage through ice. Hardship above deck storm and wave protection for the crew was added fore and aft. Additional installations of cork and sawdust were also added. The ship's most notable action was carried out in 1901-1903, when the ARA Uruguay supported and then later rescued the Swedish Antarctic Expedition, led by Otto Nordenskjöld, the Swedish steamship Antarctic, having been destroyed by ice. With all the expedition of his rescued successfully, the ship returned through a severe storm in a thoroughly battered condition, having been rolled up to 40 degrees and now partially dismasted. Arriving first at Puerto Santa Cruz, they telegraphed their success to headquarters. On December 2, 1903, they arrived at home port to a great rejoicing by the citizens of Buenos Aires, Argentina. From 1904 to 1906, the ARA Uruguay supported the third French Antarctic expedition, led by Jean Baptiste Chapcot. The expedition, the expedition explored the northmost parts of Antarctica. The expedition reached Adelaide Island in 1905 and took pictures of the Palmer Archipelago. Starting in 1904, ARA Uruguay operated through the Drake Passage around Cape Horn and resupplied a base in the South Orkney Islands with trips to South Georgia and supporting the Argentine Fisheries Association boiling station with coal and food supplies. ARA Uruguay continued until she was dismissed from service in 1926 with 52 years of naval service to become a floating ammunition dump. In 1954, the ARA Uruguay was rebuilt in the Rio Santiago shipyard. It was moored two years later at the pier of the Naval School, now officially designated as a museum ship. Removed from naval service in 1962, the ARA Uruguay was in 1967 declared a National Historic Landmark. Currently integrated since 1967 as a museum ship with the frigate ARA Presidente Sarmiento in the Museum of Sea and Navigation. It is moored at Pietro Madero in the city of Buenos Aires, Argentina in the dock area number three.